welcome back everybody to Crushing It in Real Estate and Life with Coach David Plummer III, Coach DP3. I'm at Lamarck Real Estate and Mortgage Services in Carson doing my Thursday training. So I'm welcoming everybody. Check them out. So today I want to talk about the five Ps. And you're probably wondering why I have a bat in my hand, right? You know the movie Warriors Come Out and Play. I love that movie. But it's not about that. My five Ps is about pipeline, prospecting efforts, potential, possibilities, and P. You got what P? What is P? That's what I want to talk about. This is what you need to know about P. Every day, P suited up, showed up, stepped up, went to work, and took massive action. And he did this for like 25 years. So that's why I got the bat in my hand. Who is P? I'm talking about P. Rose. One of the greatest professional baseball players of all time, not in the Hall of Fame because of stuff he did, not because of accomplishments on the field. But well, and, and you're probably thinking, what does Pete have to do with real estate? Well, let's talk about it. I said suit up, show up, step up, go to work, take massive action. That's what he did for 25 years. And that's what I need real estate agents to do. We got to show up to work every day. See, if you don't show up, it'll show up in your paycheck in two or three months. If you don't go to work, and we'll talk about work in a minute, every day it'll show up in your paycheck two or three months down the road. If you don't take massive action, you will be taking massive action for somebody else at a job somewhere. So, Pete, here's what I like about Pete, and here's, here's why it's so appropriate for real estate. So I got up here, P. Rose stayed in the game. I got up here, P. Rose worked on his skills every day. P. Rose overcame roadblocks in his career, in his 25 years. He overcame a lot of roadblocks. Check it out. He came up as a second baseman. Within five or six years of his career, the Reds traded for a Hall of Fame second baseman by the name of Joe Morton. P. said, that's fine. I'll move to third base. No big deal. I'm staying in the game. I'm suiting up. I'm showing up. Two or three years later, they bring up a high shot third baseman. Pete said, that's okay. I'll move to left field. Never bat an eye. Made adjustments along the way. We have to do that in our real estate career. Two or three years later, they bring up a great left fielder. Pete said, that's fine. I'll go to first base. See, Pete never stopped making adjustments. He never stopped working on his skill and his ability. He overcame every roadblock, every obstacle that was thrown his way. We get roadblocks and obstacles in real estate every single day. Why are we making the adjustments? They brought up a hot shot for his basement. They had no room for Pete. Pete said, that's fine. I'll just move to Philadelphia, play first base for them. He won championships in Cincinnati. He goes to Philadelphia again. Roadblock, obstacle thrown in his way. He goes to Philly, they win a championship. 25 years. This is what this man did. Again, what does that have to do with real estate? It's simple. In 25 years, P. Rose had over 15,000 at bats. 15,000 at bats. More than anybody else in baseball. He's the all time hit leader. 4,256. More hits than anybody else. You know what? When you play in the game that long and you show up every day going to work, you get more opportunities than everybody else. You give yourself an opportunity. But think about it. That also means Pete Rose failed 11, over 11,000 times. He failed over 11,000 times. He didn't get on base, didn't get a hit, didn't get a walk. So he faced a lot of failures. When we make phone calls, when we, when we knock on doors, when we send out mailers, they don't all hit. But he did that, played 25 years. See, when you're showing up every day and doing the right things, working on your skills, you'll be in the game forever. But here's what I want to talk about. His first 20 years, out of an eligible 3,240 games, he played 3,129. That means he played in 97% of all the games he was eligible to play his first 20 years. That's showing up. That's 
that's showing up. So what I got to get real steady to do is to show up every day. Are we in the office early? Are we staying late? And are we doing the things we're supposed to? So let's get back to the five P's. The first P is pipeline. What does your pipeline look like? Leads, appointments, closings, listings, escrows, qualified buyers, database entries. I put down here the last one. How much money is in your business account? Is there enough money in your business account to keep you doing business for the next three to six months? Here's a good question. Is there enough action, enough action, enough listings, all this stuff to keep you in business for the next three to six months? If your pipeline is dry right now, if it's dry, if there's nothing in it, then you know what you have to do? You gotta prospect more. This is a true story. I just got off the phone with one of my really good clients, brand new to me, been with me for about a month, and he says, David, I'm running out of money. He said, I got money for about another couple months. And I said, let's review prospecting. I said, you're full time. You're supposed to work from eight to five, eight to six. If your pipeline, now he's got stuff in the pipeline, but it takes time to close. What I told him was, if that's dry and you're full time, then why are you not investing six to eight hours a day prospecting? Or I'd like to say, working. Why? And see, this is a big challenge that most agents have, is am I prospecting enough? Am I making the phone calls? Am I knocking on the doors? Am I doing the open houses? Am I doing the networking events? This is what, if this is dry, we gotta do this. We gotta work, we, we gotta prospect, we gotta get it in. And that's just all prospecting. If you're not eating in this business, if you're not eating clients, you're not gonna fail in this business. If you're not failing enough, you're not gonna make it in this business. Again, I always talk about are you having a minimum of 25 conversations a day? Just 25. That gets me to the next one, potential. Are you working at your full potential every day? If you're supposed to be working for eight to 10 hours, are you putting in a full eight to 10 hours? Imagine this, if you're working for an employer and you have to put in eight to 10 hours, are you gonna put in that eight to 10 hours? Absolutely, why? If not, you get fired. <laughs> you lose a paycheck. They give you a pink slip. So why not do it here? Are we putting, are we maximizing every hour? Because again, if, if we don't fill this up, if we don't get all this stuff going, we will be working for somebody else. We'll be on that freeway in the morning, on that freeway coming home at five or six or seven. Potential possibility. We talked about the number of at-bats that Pete had. How many possibilities are you giving yourself? How many opportunities are you giving yourself every day? Opportunity comes when you're sitting in front of clients, people who need to sell and buy and invest and lease a piece of property, do a loan or give your referral. How many opportunities are you giving yourself? I'm gonna put the bat down now. How many opportunities are you giving yourself every day? How many people are we talking to? I said 25. How many possibilities, right, are we doing every day? How many? I always say a zero, a day of not prospecting puts you closer to being out of business. Every day you don't prospect puts you a little closer to being out of business. Every day you don't prospect puts you a little closer to not earning income in the next month or two or three months. Again, we, have got to keep working. The other thing I'm gonna say to end up with Pete Rose is, his nickname was Charlie Hustle. <laughs> I love his nickname, Charlie Hustle, because that's what we gotta do in real estate. We gotta be hustling and grinding every day. This business is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. It's for the people who wanna make it. One word I'll say, and people don't like when I use the word, is obsessed. You gotta be passionate about this. You gotta be obsessed and you gotta be passionate. You gotta want to prospect every day. You gotta wanna fill your pipeline. You gotta wanna meet your full potential. You gotta wanna give yourself opportunities. So every day, 
He wake up with just obsessed with, you know what, I got to talk to people today. I got to get it in. This alone is the difference between winning and losing. This is the difference between suit up, show up, step up, go to work, and take massive action. It's obsession, a love for what I do, a love for what you do, real estate. If, it, if you're not obsessed with it, if you're not passionate with it, if you don't wake up every day just excited about real estate, not the right field for you. Not the right field because you're not going to do the work you need to do. I'm just being straight with you. Because to get up every day and go and knock on 200 doors or, or invest $1,000 a month on mailers and all the other stuff we have to do, you got to be passionate about this business. Well, that's all my time. Hey guys, really appreciate you checking out the video. If you like it, please leave comments. If you like it, more important than that, tell a family member, tell a friend, tell a colleague, tell somebody to view the video. Hey, appreciate you. See you guys next week. This has been Coach.